Praise the Lord and welcome to Sunday Morning Christian Education. My name is Sister Tere DeLoach. I attend Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church located on 4781 Hamilton Avenue in Cincinnati, Ohio where Bishop James Chapman is the pastor and there is a God in Bethlehem and Jesus is his name. Today's lesson is titled The Bread of Life. And the lesson text come from the book of John, chapter 6, verses 22 through 35. The golden text reads, Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. And that's from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 35. Wikipedia describes bread as a staple food prepared from a dough of flour and water usually by baking. It's been recorded in history and around the world as an important part of many cultures diet. It is one of the oldest human made foods having been of significance since the dawn of agriculture and plays an essential role in both religious rituals and secular culture. In our lesson it says, people eat bread to satisfy physical hunger and sustain physical life. Bread was the food that kept people alive. It was the fuel for their bodies. Bible historians estimated that three-fourths of the people lived entirely on bread or what, what, or what bread was made out of, which is wheat or barley. It could be said that bread was thought of as sacred. Bread was so relevant that people would break the loaves and not cut them. This is where the expression breaking of bread and the expression could refer to an entire meal. Jesus had fed 5,000 people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. The people Jesus fed knew the value of bread. Back then, bread was the main staple of food. Even though Jesus fed the people with bread, he wanted them to realize he was, and still is, the bread of life. As the golden text reads, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Our lesson says, just as food is essential for physical life, so Jesus is essential for spiritual life. We cannot survive physically if we do not consume healthy and nutritious food on a regular basis. Similarly, we cannot survive spiritually if we do not trust fully in the life-giving Savior and what He has for us. We need more than bread that only feed your stomach. Jesus was talking about food for your spirit. We are made spiritually so that we can be satisfied only with a continual supply of nutrition from Jesus Christ. When he is in our hearts and our lives, he satisfies our deepest needs. Jesus provides the spiritual nourishment that we need to survive in this dark and sinful world. Each day, we must walk with Christ in order to have a strong spiritual life. Don't let a day go by without getting your spiritual food. Read your Bible daily. Talk to Jesus daily. He is always waiting for you. Eternal life is more important than food. You need the bread from heaven that will give you eternal life. Jesus provides all that we need. There are so many things in life that we think we need or can't live without or want. Oh my goodness, if someone took their cell phones or computers away from us, we would act like it was the end of the world. Some people act like they wouldn't be able to function or go on. 
I read something that says, you cannot make a sandwich without bread. And you cannot live without Jesus. So break bread with Jesus. I hope I have put something on your mind. Until next time, God bless.